Genesis 1 verses 26 through 28 says, Then God said, Let us make mankind in our own image, in our likeness, so that they may rule over the fish in the sea and the birds in the sky, over the livestock and all the wild animals, and over all the creatures that move along the ground. So God created mankind in his own image. In the image of God, he created them. Male and female, he created them. God blessed them and said to them, Be fruitful and increase in number. Fill the earth and subdue it. Rule over the fish in the sea, and the birds in the sky, and over every living creature that moves on the ground. Isn't this the most amazing creation yet? Mankind, man and woman, you and me, we were created by God. We did not evolve from apes, we were created. And the apes were created by God. We were created by the all-powerful God, the God that created the heavens and the earth, the one and only God that created the universe. But there is one very special thing about us humans. We were created in His, God's, image. No other creature in His image, only mankind. We know we were created by God because of what God said in Jeremiah 1.5. Let's take a look. Before I, God, formed you in the womb, I knew you before you were born. I set you apart. How cool is that? He not only made us in His image, but He also knew us before we were even born. You are very special to God, there's no doubt. Now let's take a look at exactly how God created man and woman. Genesis 2 verse 7 tells us how He created man. Let's take a look. Genesis 2 7 says, Then the Lord God formed the man from the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life, and the man became a living being. Now let's take a look at the actual definition of nostrils. Nostrils are your nose holes. They allow air to enter your lungs. And Genesis 2 verse 21 tells us how God created woman. Let's take a look. So the Lord God caused the man to fall into a deep sleep. And while he was sleeping, he, God, took one of the man's ribs and then closed up the place with flesh. Then the Lord God made a woman from the rib he had taken out of the man. Pretty cool, huh? God also gave us five amazing qualities that we use every day. These five qualities are known as the five senses. The five senses are sight, smell, hearing, taste, and touch. And what's really cool is you can experience these five senses both physically and spiritually. You can see nature with your physical eyes, yet you can see God in nature with your spiritual eyes. You can smell the flowers with your physical nose, yet you can smell the sweetness of God in those same flowers with your spiritual nose. You can hear the birds singing with your physical ears, yet you can hear God's praises the birds are singing with your spiritual ears. You can taste that yummy grilled cheese and tomato soup with your physical tongue, yet you can taste that the Lord is good with your spiritual taster. That's found in Psalms 34, 8, that says, Taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the one who takes refuge in Him. When you touch, you feel. So you can feel the feathers of a bird, yet you can feel safe in God's feathers. That's in Psalms 91.4. He will cover you with his feathers, and under his wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness will be your shield and rampart. Because God made you in his image, you can be certain you matter to God. And that wraps up our eighth Bible discovery adventure in our creation series. Now let's say the following prayer out loud to God. He will listen, I guarantee. Dear God, thank you so much for creating me. And because you made me in your image, I want to learn to be more like you. Please help me to see people like you see people. 
please help me to become more aware of the five senses spiritually. I am so glad you created me, my family, and my friends. I appreciate you, God. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.